BC government is going after the contents of a safety deposit box in the name of Michael Patron, a co-founder of Quadriga Cryptocurrency Exchange. The unexplained wealth order was filed in BC Supreme Court but follows an international tale of intrigue that was the subject of a Netflix documentary and a CBC podcast. When the cryptocurrency exchange collapsed, its clients lost more than $200 million. The company crumbled in 2018 after its founder is believed to have died in India. Gerald Cotton left a trail of missing millions, lawsuits, investigations and wild conspiracy theories. The provincial government's lawsuit goes after Quadriga co-founder Michael Patron. He was last known to be in Thailand. Back in 2021, BC's forfeiture office seized a safety deposit box in Patron's name. It contained $250,000 in cash, 45 gold bars, four luxury watches and a pistol. These assets were in a box at CIBC Vancouver and are now being held at BC RCMP headquarters in Surrey. Minister of Public Safety Mike Farnworth says the Quadriga fraud left many Canadians short of their life savings. It's estimated Quadriga Currency Exchange duped over 76,000 clients. Erston Young, Quadriga's bankruptcy trustee, was able to recover 46 million of the 250 million owed to investors. This is the third unexplained wealth order filed in BC since legislative changes last year allowed their use. They require people to explain how they acquired their wealth and property if there is suspicion of criminal activity. The provincial forfeiture office takes assets from crime and uses it for victim services and crime and hate prevention programs. The public safety minister says eligible victims who have suffered financial loss can apply for compensation. Mira Baines, CBC News, Vancouver.